the color theme tool in InDesign is pretty cool. So go ahead and go to File Open, open up Color Theme Tool, just example feature story layout here, and uh, let's say we wanted to add some border, like some strokes around the photos, or add some color to the background, or these shapes, or illustrations, or text, or any of that, and we wanted to actually pull some hues out of these photos. How would we do that? Well, traditionally we'd need to use the eyedropper tool, and we could even go into Photoshop and use the eyedropper tool and pull different hues out, but uh, the, the color theme tool's really neat, and it does this a lot more quickly in, in an automatic way. What we can do is click the color theme tool here, and then if you just click on top of one of these photos here, it goes ahead and pulls hues out of there that have a variety, and you can click the side arrow here and make it more colorful, bright, etc. And there's a couple other options. You can add it to your swatches. So if I click Add to Swatches, then I go to Window, Color, and then Swatches, and you can see it down here, Colorful Theme, it's right there. The CMYK level, Cyan, Magenta, Yellow, Black, or Key. So we can then use those colors in a layout. For example, if I wanted to add a border to this, I could make this say, so you can see it, there's 10 instead of black. We can make it say that color. Okay, so I said the, I flipped those so that the stroke is that custom color. All right, or you can add it to things up here. I'll show you how. So if we have this still selected, we've already pulled it from there, and see how it flips horizontally. Now, if I choose one of these, it's going to apply it to that area, to that shape. And then I'm going to, let's say, try this one and then add more of a border there. So you get the idea. Uh, basically, when I choose that tool, it's going to sample when it's kind of facing from top right to bottom left. Then it's going to create that color scheme. And now that it's top left to bottom right, I can actually apply it to shapes. So I could apply that new color scheme to this one here, for example. And the, the one other thing to look at is way on the right hand side where it says, well, this is add to the swatches for this document. This one's add this theme to Adobe Color. So I clicked that and now when I go to Window Color Adobe Color Themes, it'll bring up all the different color themes we have. And so we have to click on My Themes. You can use these in here, so save the color themes and we could open another file, let's say Gap Tool. And I could use these color themes, so it's not like the swatches panel where it's just tied to this specific file. For example, go to Color, Swatches. So you see that there, but then when I go to the Gap Tool, it's not there because the swatches panel is just specific to that document. But Adobe Color Themes panel is not. It's universal, so I can use it in various documents and programs. So that's the Color Theme Tool. It's pretty cool, adding some color schemes to editorial layouts.